Sealing out unwanted water and moisture in your kitchen is an important way to prevent costly damage and defend against unsightly mold, mildew, and stains. Replacing dirty, mildewed caulk is also an easy, inexpensive way to refresh the look of your kitchen. Your kitchen sink is the source of most water in the kitchen and an area where water leaks can occur. The seam where the sink meets the countertop should be sealed to prevent any water from seeping to the cabinet below. Before you apply the new sealant, prep the area by removing any old caulk from the seam or joint. Carefully cut or scrape away the old caulk using a utility knife or scraper. Be careful not to scratch the finish of the sink or countertop as you scrape. Pull out the loose caulk and wipe away any material. Then clean the area thoroughly with water and disinfectant to remove dirt or grime. Rinse well and wipe off excess water. As a final step, wipe the seam with rubbing alcohol to remove any residue or film. You want to make sure the area to be sealed is clean to ensure strong adhesion with the new sealant. If you want to get a really straight edge of caulk, apply painter's masking tape to either side of the joint before applying the sealant. Since we are sealing in the kitchen, you want a sealant specifically formulated to stand up to water, mold, and mildew. DAP 3.0 High Performance Sealant is 100% waterproof and paintable in just 30 minutes. It also features microban antimicrobial protection to prevent mold and mildew for up to 10 years. To apply the sealant, first cut the nozzle of the cartridge at a 45 degree angle to the desired bead size. Remember, the farther down the nozzle you cut, the bigger the bead of caulk will be. Some sealants have an inner foil seal that will need to be punctured, so be sure to read the instructions on the label. Now load the cartridge into the caulk gun and you're ready to start sealing. Hold the caulk gun at a 45 degree angle to the surface and gently squeeze the trigger with steady pressure to apply an even bead of sealant in the seam. If you keep the caulk gun moving steadily, you'll get a more consistent bead. Work your way around the sink. After the sealant has been applied, smooth the bead with a caulk finishing tool or your finger dipped in water. This pushes the sealant further into the seam and also gives a nice, finished appearance. Do this before the caulk starts to skin over, which is about two to five minutes. If you applied masking tape, remove the tape before the sealant skins over. Just lift the edge up at a 45 degree angle and pull away from you. Let the sealant dry before exposing it to moisture. How much time is needed depends on the sealant that you use, so again, be sure to read the label. DAP 3.0 is ready for water exposure in just 30 minutes. Use this same process to seal other areas in your kitchen, like the backsplash behind your countertop and the joint where the backsplash meets the wall. When you're done, clean any excess sealant from surfaces, tools, or hands. Cleanup depends on the type of sealant you're using. DAP 3.0 requires solvents for cleanup. Using caulks and sealants to seal out unwanted moisture in your kitchen is a great way to prevent water damage and mold and mildew growth, while also giving your kitchen a clean, fresh look. DAP, for confidence from start to finish.